this is the only thing when you wanted to do draggy runs you have to wait until there's a decent amount of spot for you to get out which there is now so i'm going to get out stop foot on the brake accelerate it down Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel so today you join me in the car we're going to be doing a little bit of the draggy stuff again just to see if we can improve on the zero to 60 times for two reasons one of them is i've got some new wheels they're innovate force 5 18 inch wheels 18 by 8 et45 and in terms of the cadiz they weigh roughly well the cadiz weigh 10.4 kilograms there or thereabouts and these weigh just under 9.5 so it's about a kilogram per corner saving which with the, the unsprung mass and, and everything like that should make a difference to acceleration, albeit small. And we've also been playing around with the JB4 with Shaq, so Shaq over at Lounge Street Garage, he's been helping me do some logs and also changing the JB4 just a little bit, just to offer a little bit more boost higher up in the revs. If you do want me to let you know what the settings have been changed to, drop me a message, just let me know in the comment down below, and I'll, uh, I'll dig out the settings and then we'll have a look at it. So I'm just on the way to the petrol station at the moment. I'm on under 10 miles in the tank. I know you want to have as little fuel in the tank as possible just for weight savings, but I'm gonna put 10 or 15 quid in, and then we're gonna go and do some draggy runs. If you've been here before, you'll probably know what I'm gonna do with the draggy runs. So zero to 60, 60 to 100 on a private road, and maybe zero to 100 and or an eighth mile. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what draggy is, then a draggy is a telemetry device that basically measures everything on your car 0 to 30 0 to 60 60 to 100 100 to 200 kilometers an hour and you can also put all the custom parameters in that you want to be able to measure everything about your car for example if you've got the standard brakes and you want to judge the 60 to 0 deceleration times you can do and also if you want to get a big brake kit and measure the two you can so you can see real world results as to why and what is happening um, I'm using it purely just to measure the differences that we've done on the JB4, see if it improves the 0 to 60. Now granted we're going to have less fuel than last time, it's dry and it was raining last time and we've also got lighter wheels so I'm expecting a slightly slightly lower 0 to 60 now, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be, it might be 3.6 something. Ideally I'd like to get into the 3.5s but whether that's realistic or not I'm not entirely sure. So I'm two minutes around from the, the petrol station now We'll go put some fuel in and then I'll catch up with you guys once I'm in a good spot to speak a little more, bit more about launch control and how we're going to do the draggy. So before you go out and draggy, you want to make sure of a couple of things. A, you've got a good place to do it. Now that's simply because the draggy measures the, um, the incline of the road. If it's downhill over 1%, it won't count, it won't be valid. If it's uphill, it will be. Ideally, you want a flat surface. It can be hard to come by, but if you drive around enough, you will find them. Second of all, you want to make sure that you've got the right fuel in the car. Now I'm running Shell 99, Volkswagen say run 98 or above, Shag from Lounge Street Garage says run 99 on the JB4 at all times because the timing's different. And on that point, there's somebody called Aaron who did a really good post in the Facebook group, the Golf R Facebook group, um, about fuel and the differences between 95, 98 and 99 I think it was, or it might have been 95, 99 and 99 with meth. Um, just showing you the differences between timing, what it pulls out, what it puts in and I might do a separate video on that using them statistics as a point because it was a fantastic post and there's forever people going oh well what fuel do I use, what fuel do I use um, but yeah keep keep a look out on the channel should you want to see that so I'm just about to wait to get out of this lay by now I'm recording the screen on the draggy so you can see what comes up I'm just waiting for a bit of a time to be able to go on there and do it so this is the only thing when you wanted to do draggy runs you have to wait until there's a decent amount of spot for you to get out which there is now so i'm going to get out stop foot on the brake accelerate it down so that was a bit intense um i, I wasn't expecting everything to go flying everywhere but we're going to pull over at the next lay-by, see how the car's done, because I feel that was a little bit slower, I'm not sure why, but I'm just having a look on the draggy now, and you'll see on the screen, because I'll put it up, that the 0-60 to 60 time was 3.97 seconds. Now that was the first one that I've done, 
I'd done a couple of 3.9s before when we were testing it, but the best was 3.75. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can get any better times when we get a bit of an opportunity to do so. Okay, so we're just pulled over at the moment, just so I can have a look at the time, see what it's done, and we'll do some more as well. But the 0 to 60 was 3.97 verified, the eighth mile was 7.80 verified, and the, the 0 to 60 is a little bit lower than what I had before, and the eighth mile was a little bit better than what I had before, so we're getting somewhere. Now, the, the differences that Shaq made on the JB4 was he upped the boost at higher RPM. So I don't know if that'll have any increment on the 0 to 60 time, I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a couple more spots to be able to do it. We'll catch up at the end, we'll talk through the different times, and then we'll see if the things that I've done have made any difference whatsoever. Okay, so we've just done another one that came through at 4.04. Um, it's not great, you know, I'm not improving on the times that I had, which is annoying. But we'll try some more. I'm going to record this one once I've got a bit of a gap, and then we'll see what we can get. I really want higher than that 3.75. Um, just for the Draggy leaderboard. And if you haven't seen the Draggy leaderboard, it's draggywars.co.uk and you can see all the MQB cars, what times they're doing, zero to 60, quarter mile, 100 to 200, that sort of thing. So we're waiting for a gap and then we'll go for it. Right, I think we've got a bit of a gap after this car, so we're gonna roll out now, go into sport mode, get set up. seem to get higher 4.37 seconds then which isn't great so what I might have to do is I might have to do some vlogs for Shaq because it's not performing how it should do 4.37 seconds is not that great to be fair um, and I'm not sure why it's performing that way but what I'm going to do I'm going to pull over I'm going to check the JB4 settings just to make sure that I haven't missed anything and then we're going to try again see if we can improve on the time so I'm just looking through the JB4 stuff and on the main display of it, it tells you your RPM, your boost, your ignition, your AFR, your intake temperatures and also what lap you're on. Sorry about that, there's a lot of motorbikes going around, it's a very nice day as you can tell. Now the intake temperatures are at 102, which I think is ridiculously high. Um, does that warrant an intercooler? Probably. Does an intercooler warrant stage 2? Probably. Um, we'll try again, I'll go back to, to Shaq and, and explain everything to him and see if he's got any recommendations um, But I'll let you guys know what the situation is as and when it happens I'll probably post it on my Instagram or on the Facebook group So if you go and follow me here, then you can see everything that I'm going on about But I'll catch up with you guys once I'm ready to launch and we'll do the final one So let's see if we can get a gap And we've got one that was fairly handy Right, break down, launch control go, let's go. So, I'm back at home now and I needed a bit of time just to get my head together because obviously today has gone completely differently from how I expected it to go. I went out with a personal best of 3.75, brilliant. Now, I started off at a 3.98, I thought that was a, a semi-decent run. I thought I could do better. I thought, right, it's the first one, get out of the way. Did another one, 4.04. And my brain's like, why, why are you going up? And you need to come down. Did another one, 4.3. I did another one, 4.58. So why that's happened, I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, I can only check so much from my side. I've checked the intake temperatures, which tend to be a little bit higher. The tyres still aren't great, you know, I haven't changed the tyres at all, um, so that might be a case. Weight-wise, same fuel, same things in the car, I've got all my camera stuff here. I've got a couple of bit of detail and bits in the back. Um, so I think what we're going to have to do, go back to Shaq, go through some logs, get him to have a look at the, the differences on the logs, see where maybe the, the car isn't performing as it should, change the little bits there, here and there, and then come back to do some more draggy times. Um, what I've really learned today is that if I want to get back to 3.75, I'm either going to have to lose a lot of weight, which I need to do anyway, um, strip the car, which I don't really want to do, or spend a lot of money. Um, intercooler, tyres, maybe a stage two, 
who knows maybe it won't start maybe it's that time that I need to sort of take the plunge on it but we'll see I'll have a couple of conversations and then we'll see where we go from there if you like this video I know it's not gone how I expected it to but like it comment down below what car you drive let me know I really like to know what you guys drive um, subscribe to the channel on the subscription part we've just hit a couple of weeks ago actually 500 subscribers thank you so much for being a part of the channel it really means a lot to me and it means a lot that you guys are supporting me the next goal is a thousand when I get to it, I'm not sure. I reckon about August, September time. Um, around that time, I'll probably do a, a giveaway just to celebrate it, as I never thought I'd get to 500, never mind 1,000. But of course, if you like it, do whatever you want. I really enjoy the support regardless, so like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys then.